I'm Chase McMillan, this is Viren Shaw, and this is Wilson Choi. Uh, this is our project for the Introduction to Programming competition. The purpose of this program is to help students calculate their weighted and unweighted GPAs using our school's 100-point grading system. As you can see here, the, in the IDE we used to develop our code was BlueJ, uh, as you can see on package.bluej. Uh, there's also a README, which we will get into in a second here. So, as you can see here, the purpose of this README file is to denote the developers who worked on this project, us three, uh, and to help any users figure out how to uh, use the calculator. So, to use the GPA calculator, you are going to need either a hard drive or a GitHub account and you're going to want to go to GitHub and download the program and you're going to launch it in an IDE of your choice. Uh, you know, we chose BlueJ. Directions. Uh, once you have run the program through the main method, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to type in your classes, your grades for those classes, and you're going to click the drop-down box and choose the rigor, whether it be advanced placement, honors, dual enrollment, you know, etc. Uh, then you, once you have all your classes listed out, you'll be able to click Calculate Unweighted or Weighted GPA, and it will tell you exactly that. So we click on the package there, and that will take us to the code. This is our code here, and... In order to access the main method, just left click onto the void main method. And if you want to see the code, double click. This is our code. And the packages we used, or libraries we used, are Swing, Event, AWT, Util, Swing Border, Color, and Font. We used many instances variables, such as JTX Yield, JButton, JText Area, JCombo Box, Fonts, and JLabels as well as J panels. The main class extends JFrame, which means it is a subclass of JFrame. And the public grade calc uses inheritance through the super in order to access these codes. We set the size and a uh, close function through jframe.exit.close. And we created a font and as well as the font color. We created the main panel using J panels, and we set the layout and border and background. After that, we created the input panel to take inputs. We then created labels for all the things, or def definition definitions and stuff. Later, we created items and backgrounds. We then created buttons, and then accessed and developed those buttons through the add button listener class, calc button listener class, and calc unbutton listener class using the action listener interface. We, the calc unbutton listener calculates unweighted GPA, the calc button listener calculates weighted GPA, and the add action button list, the add button listener calc, uh, adds classes, grades, and rigor to array lists in order to calculate. This is the main method, which simply creates a grade calc and sets it visible to true. And here's what it looks like when the main method is run. Here is the main method, or here is the program right here. It's called GPA Calculator. And let's say the student has taken an AP class. Let's say AP Computer Science A. Now, let's say the student's got a 95 in this class, and you select AP. It's already selected right here. Um, since it's an AP class, now you click that. Now, let's say um, the student has also taken an intro to software and technology. Now, let's say the student got a negative 1 and click regular. There will be an error message as negative 1 is not a possible grade. Same thing with 101, or if the student just doesn't uh, so, uh, input a grade in there. Now, these buttons calculate the weighted and unweighted GPA as well. 
If you click the Calculate Weighted GPA, it'll show your weighted GPA is a 104.5. If you have a Calculate Unweighted GPA, your grade is a 95, as seen through the classes. Say you got an, also, if you try to add more classes, it's still feasible as long as the code runs. So say you got an 89 in Intro to Software Tech, you add that, you're still able to calculate the GPA now, which allows you to change and store data through time. Thank you.